The Islamic Society of the University of Dunbar presents Gateway to Ramadan. اللهم اجعل اعمالنا كلها يا الله خالصة لوجهك ولا تجعل فيها حظا لغيرك وبسم الله نبدا حيث انه هو الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله تعالى وبركاته. Oh praise and thanks is due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى. We send peace and salutations upon our beloved Prophet Nabi Muhammad his family, his friends and all those who follow him up until the day of Qiyamah. Ameen Ya Rabbul Alameen. This evening insha'Allah we'd like to reflect on a few verses of the Holy Quran, a few verses of the Kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advised us in a hadith inna khayr al-hadith kitab Allah that the best of speech, the best of speech that we can be involved in, the best of speech that we can listen to, the best of speech that we can even dedicate our lives to, is that of Kitab Allah, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we look and reflect upon the ayat of the Holy Quran. And a few verses we'll bring to light, inshallah, in terms of the signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala placed before us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to us, سَنُرِيهِمْ آيَاتِنَا فِي الْآفَاقِ وَفِي أَنفُسِهِمْ حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَهُمْ أَنَّهُ الْحَقِّ Allah says that سَنُرِيهِمْ آيَاتِنَا We will show them our signs فِي الْآفَاقِ in the horizons وَفِي أَنفُسِهِمْ and even within themselves So Allah saying He will show us His signs in the horizons and even within our own selves حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَهُمْ أَنَّهُ الْحَقِّ until it becomes clear to them that it is the truth that this book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the truth. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Islam is the truth. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. Amen. So in light of this, we look into ourselves. Now in every human being, as we are created as humans, there is something called a reflex arc. There is something called a reflex arc in terms of neurons in our body operates. In terms of neurons, sensory neurons, all of those type of things, there's something called the reflex arc. Now, what the reflex arc, a reflex arc is, is the following. For example, if you place your hand onto a hot stove, you will be pulling your hand away before you even realize that you're burning. Right? As, it's almost as instant as you realize that you're burning, that you're going to pull your hand away. You don't have to think about, okay, I need to pull my hand away, and then you pull your hand away. Now what happens is, there's a natural reflex. This is because within our skin, within our skin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed the tips or the ends of the sensory neurons. Right? Now that is there to do what? To pick up small vibrations, to pick up temperature, to pick up different feelings. You rub your hand against a smooth surface, you rub your hand against sandpaper, you feel the differences. All of these are picked up by our, by our sensory neurons. Right? So that sensory neuron there, the end part of it, lies within the skin. Now, what happens is, then that feeling is transferred through that sensory neuron to the brain, and then the brain sends a message to a motor neuron that's connected to our muscle, and then the action happens. So example, you feel the heat, your arm pulls away, that is a whole message that went from that sensory neuron to the muscle, and you, re and you reacted. Now what's important here is the following, that the sensory part, the part that picks up the temperature, the most sensitive part of that is where? Is in the dermis, in the skin. Right? In the epidermis, in the skin. So, if somebody burns, if somebody burns, he burns to a point where he burns the tip of that sensory neuron off. So the most sensitive part, or the part that can pick up the most uh, temperature, all of those type of things, the most sensitive to that, is now burnt off once you burn through the skin. So what happens is, then uh, the flesh and the rest of it comes. So when one's skin is burnt off, when one's skin is burnt off, then, so for example, a person is to burn. Once his skin burns off, then the pain is actually easier upon him. Because the most sensitive part is gone. That tip of the sensory neuron. Are we all with me? Are we all with me? So the most sensitive part is where? In the skin. So once the skin is burnt off, 
and you burn it same place, it won't be as so as if you were burning the skin. Everybody with me? So what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran? He says, in terms of those who will be punished in Jahannam, He says, كُلَّمَا نَضِجَتْ جُلُودُهُمْ بَدَّلْنَاهُمْ جُلُودًا غَيْرَهَا يَذُوقُ الْعَذَابُ He says, every time when they burn, and we burn all of the skin off, نَضِجَتْ جُلُودُهُمْ بَدَّلْنَاهُمْ جُلُودًا غَيْرَهَا We will give them other skin. We will replace their skin. Why? لِيَذُوقُ الْعَذَابُ So that they may be able to taste the punishment. Subhanallah. Is it not clear, is it not true that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam could not have made these things up himself? How could a man in the desert more than 1,400 years ago have known that the most sensitive part of that sensor in urine sits within the skin and once it's burnt off it needs to be replaced in order to have that optimum feeling and sensation. Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clarifies this to us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us signs within ourselves. Now, we look at these signs. We see these miracles of the Holy Quran, subhanAllah. It is impossible for Muhammad to have known this out of his own. It is but only by the instruction and by the words of the one who created this human being that could have known that that most sensitive spot sits within that skin, subhanAllah. So is it for us to just look at the signs and say, subhanAllah, it is amazing? No. It is for us to take lessons from that. It is for us to take reality from that. That if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is proving to us, and when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala proves to us that this book, who al-haq, that it is the truth. Once it becomes clear to us that this book is the truth, then it should become clear to us that everything inside of this book is the truth. That the akhirah is the truth. That the death is the truth. That the day we are going to die, it is the truth. And for when we look at these signs, when we take from these signs, it is for us to rectify our lives and prepare for that day. It is for us to look into our lives and prepare ourselves for the day that we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But what happens? What happens to one? who looks at the signs, they see these signs, they are presented with the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but still they turn away and go on with their lives as if they never saw it. Allah makes an example of such an individual in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي Whoever turns away from my remembrance, from my reminder, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to us elsewhere in the Quran, إِنَّا نَحْنَ نَزَلْنَا الذِّكْرَى Allah says, we have seen down this, this dhikra. What is this dhikra? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is referring to the Quran. So, man a'udha an dhikri, if we turn away from the remembrance of Allah, we turn away from the reminders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what does Allah say? فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً دُنْكَ For that person, the one who turns away from it, you will have a very narrowed down life. And then what does Allah add? وَنَحْشُرُهُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أَعْمَى And we will resurrect him on the day of Qiyamah blind. We will resurrect him on the day of Qiyamah blind. Then what will happen? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, what such a person will call out? قَالَ He will say, Rabbi, oh my Lord, لِمَا حَشَرْتَنِي أَعْمَى Oh my Lord, why have you resurrected me blind? وَقَدْ كُنْتُ بَصِيرًا Whilst in the dunya I could see. It was fine, my eyes was working, I could see in the dunya. Now you resurrected me on Qiyamah, I'm blind, why? وَقَدْ كُنْتُ بَصِيرًا Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to him, قَالَ He will say, كَذَلِكَ Like that, just the way this situation is happening now that you could see, now you can't see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَتَتْكَ آيَاتُنَا our signs came to you. Our signs came to you. Atatka ayatuna. Our signs came to you. And then what did you do? Fanasitaha. You just forgot about it. Life just went on. You just forgot about it. What does Allah say to that person? Wakadalika liyoma tunsa. And today you will be forgotten. Subhanallah wa na'udhu billah. The day that we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala most, we do not need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forget about us. The day that we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most, is a day that we really, really do not need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forget about us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant that we are able to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this dunya so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forget about us in the akhirah. We make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us to not turn away but rather to turn towards the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to turn towards the Quran, to turn towards this life of obedience so that we can be saved on that day when we need the saving. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant that the rest of our lives or the rest of our lives. Wa akhir da'wana alhamdulillah 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 wa ak